I'm now going to, uh, you know, ask you to close this interview and this segment on a on a on a fun note, uh, and ask you to read from this wonderful book that uh, you created. Yeah, so please uh, read your favorite quotes from these books for us now. Uh, the first one that strikes my mind, yeah, I think this was a very you know kind of uh, one of those uh, heroic stamp dialogues, and that one is na oru daru sunna, nuoru daru sunna madri. Um, what I like about that is the power of uh, uh, of this spoken word. Mm. Uh, in fact, uh, there is this famous book, The Word. If you remember, you know, mm. one of those uh, all, all time you know kind of classic books. This dialogue to me represents what I call as the sanctity and integrity of standing by uh, your word. Your word. And in in that in, the, in that film, therefore, you know, here is a man who is uh, uh, very very principle centered. He doesn't mince words, but he's also not very vocal, and there is a reason behind that. But there is a point of time, you know, when he has got to establish or say uh, a very, very, you know, kind of uh, authoritatively uh, make his uh, statement, and that's when he says, "Na nordaral sana, nordaral sana mari," which means I don't have to remind you again about this. Right. I don't have to clarify this again. Mm. When I make a statement, that's like equivalent to. committing myself all right commitments are to be kept right you know in this time and uh, in a space of life where uh, very flimsy very superficial uh, uh, very you know kind of a flippant kind of a attitude towards uh, you know kind of uh, integrity happens mm. and you the corporate frauds or the bank frauds and a whole lot of things mm. i think this rigor of uh, respecting the spoken word mm. i think it's a value by itself and i love this dialogue for the value that it represents right. that your word is a representation of your integrity right that's one of my uh, big favorites um and there is other one in yajman which i love very much and that is uh, uh ninga sattapadi dharmam pannum nu solreenga ana na dharmame dharmam pandrade sattama irukanum nu solren i think it is one of my real favorites Uh, if i got to translate dharma uh, into english uh, i would say it is about the principle centered righteousness mm. okay you may call them virtues of life sure. values of life mm. it is a principle centered you know righteousness so what is talking about in that is that uh, constitutions establishment of law all of them talk about giving a legal status to dharma or mm. that principle centered righteousness mm. okay what he says is the other way it has got to be your total system in whatever way it represents should be an integral kind of a, a, a representation of this principle centered righteousness right. now this is very interesting because he has made this statement almost let us say 20 years back or 22 years or 25 years back now when uh, superstar uh, is becoming talaiver and getting into politics what is he again talking about is this principle center aram sarnda arasyal anmigam sarnda arasyal dharmam sarnda arasyal so i think it's a great connect between what he believes very deeply mm. and what the character represented you know in right. that film right. and what he's bringing into the socio political system i think it's a classic one then yeah. i would talk about the third one probably the last one and which is an amazing philosophical statement and uh, it was in the film shivaji okay oh wow what a philosophical statement savarnal therinj pochina vaalnal naragam aayidum my god what it means is if you know in advance the time of your demise or the date of your death then you know your living days will not be interesting anymore how do we manage this uncertainty what he is saying is uncertainty is the very essence of life right let's embrace uncertainty what a beautiful statement because what does this mean today the man has an idea about future mm. and a hope towards life because he believes that there is something called tomorrow that's possible right if you know for sure sagar nal terinja if you know for sure your date of death that means life is fixed right there is certainty about your end Mm. the end being open leads to therefore possibility possibility and uncertainty 
So let us not look at uncertainty as a limitation. Uncertainty also holds on the other side immense possibility. And that's what makes life very, very interesting.